letters testamentary is often referred to as a standard probate proceeding. A person has died leaving a will and owning assets that need to be transferred to the beneficiaries. Every case is different and there are certain processes involved if the will is not an original or if it wasn't witnessed or if it was in the testator's own handwriting, but we will not go into all of those details in this video. This will be a broad overview of the probate process when obtaining letters testamentary. So what happens when a person dies with a will? The first thing to know is there is a statute of limitations on probating a will. Generally, the executor named in the will has four years from the date of death to bring the will to probate. So the first step is going to contact an estate attorney and schedule an appointment. At the time of your appointment, you should bring with you the original will and any documents that you may have with regard to the estate that show assets and debts, such as bank statements or credit card statements mortgage statement would be good. Do not worry if you don't have all that information. Just bring as much as you can and try to have a general knowledge of the debts and the assets of the decedent. The attorney will then prepare an application of probate will and, and submit that to the court. The court will assign a case number and the attorney will also deliver the original will to the court, which is why it's important that you bring the original with you. Once the court assigns a case number, the attorney will schedule a hearing and should coordinate that date with you. There is nothing for you to do during this time period. The attorney will prepare all of the documents that are required at the hearing so you do not have to worry about bringing anything with you. At the hearing, you should arrive about 15 minutes early and your attorney should review your testimony with you. Most courts are informal, meaning that they do not require you to sit in the witness stand and give testimony. You may just stand with your attorney in front of the judge's bench and the judge will swear you in. At that time, the attorney will go through a series of questions with you. Most attorneys that I know structure those questions in a form of a statement and then request at the end, is that correct? And your answer is then yes. Such as, Mr. Jones died on September 4th, 2019. Is that correct? And your response would be yes. At the end of the hearing, the judge will sign the order admitting the will to probate and issuing the letters testamentary. And in most cases, you will leave that day with your letters. Depending on the estate, your attorney may obtain a tax ID number for you known as an EIN and instruct you to open a bank account. Although that's not always necessary, you should follow the advice of your attorney. The attorney will then prepare a newspaper notice that gets published in the local newspaper as your appointment as executor. The next steps will be to start gathering assets and listing an inventory. You will need to determine the debts owed by the decedent and the attorney will provide notice directly to the creditors. There are different rules with regard to secured creditors and unsecured creditors. Your attorney should be able to handle that for you. If there are creditors in the estate, it is important to not pay them until instructed to do so by your attorney. Depending on the value of the estate and the assets available, it may be possible, possible to bar some of the creditors and not pay them. Again, there are certain rules that govern this area, so you definitely need to follow the advice of your attorney. Once all assets have been determined and all bills paid or barred by statute, the estate can be distributed to the beneficiaries. How long does all of this take? Well, every estate is different. Some have been finalized in less than six months and others have taken several years. It just depends on the complexity of the estate. For more information regarding the probate process and obtaining letters testamentary, please visit us online at www.rondahaineslaw.com or contact our office to schedule an appointment at the number listed on your screen. Don't forget to friend us on Facebook. We look forward to serving you.